everybody. Um, I'm CSO Benjamin, and I'm an elected chief science officer at Tartesso Elementary School. In okay, that's me. Speaking in front of a, a large crowd of adults, some of the most influential of their kind, right after the best week of my life. You see, that week I traveled to Washington, D.C. with seven other people from Arizona, meeting people from all around the world. Now, I know what you're thinking. How many strings did this kid's billionaire parents have to pull to get him here? Well, I'm going to share with you a little secret. You don't have to be anything or anyone special to be where I was at. In fact, I used to be just like you. Hi, my name is Benjamin, and I am a Chief Science Officer at Tartesso Elementary School. I wanted to be a Chief Science Officer so I could get kids interested in STEM and learn more about how fun it can be. And that's my elevator pitch. Welcome to the seventh floor. You see, if you're able to find your passion, then you'll start doing things you didn't even imagine you could do. And I started getting a lot of recognition for it. I got to go on shows and join the Arizona CSO Leadership Council. But it wasn't always like this. So we're here with our, uh, my principal, Miss Burton. How are you today? I'm great, how are you? Good. I wanted to talk to you about um, CSO and Chief Science Officers, mainly the first year, because I remember the first year you were uh, the CSO advisor for Tartessa. What, what was it like the first year for you? So the first year um, definitely had its challenges. I took on the responsibility of being the advisor. The program from the top down was a little bit unorganized just because we weren't really sure about what the expectations were. I didn't know the expectations and then I couldn't clearly communicate those to my chief science officer. It was a great experience because I think we learned a lot, Yeah. but I think that there were definitely challenges just with communication. When the director came to our school uh, and then we had like no idea like anything that we were supposed to be doing that year and it was really challenging. And so another question I had is like, speaking about that, how, how did you feel that we did? Do you think that we like succeeded or failed? Or Once we knew that there was supposed to be an action plan, I think you guys did the best that you could under those circumstances. Now there, the expectations are clear. We have a wonderful facilitator who took on this role and was able to attend the summer camps. She was an advocate for you um, and the other CSOs. Mrs. Dirksen meets with you regularly, which I think mm -hmm. was a huge piece that, that, I, that I had missed because I just had so many other roles mm -hmm. and I didn't have you know assistance. Now it is so organized. Um, the communication is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, Mrs. Dirksen is great about communicating. She volunteers and dedicates her time. You guys have volunteered your time. You've talked to our school. You've talked to our students. You've done community outreach. There's just been some really, really great experiences. I yeah. think overall it's been a huge success. And that's my year. Oh.